Hey farmhouse friends, welcome back to Bloomo Home and Garden. I hope you're having an excellent day. And here I am in the garden and it's that time of year friends when your garden may be looking great but you're also growing a bumper crop of weeds or you're getting bombarded by garden pests. And so it's time to bring out the sprayer. Well friends, I'm gonna do a review for you today of this particular sprayer. And let me say that sprayers and I have a love-hate relationship. I love to get rid of the weeds that are too many to pull because normally I am a weed puller. It's just so easy to pull the weeds and get the root and get everything out rather than to wait for them to die. But sometimes the weeds just take over. This year in our area, we have had a lot of hot weather and then we have rain so it's a perfect greenhouse and the weeds have really just taken over and so it's too wet to get out there and pull the weeds and then they grow more and you also have some garden pests to deal with i currently have a beetle infestation and i need to get it taken care of However, when it comes to spraying, I just do not have good luck with sprayers. I buy them every year, I take good care of them, I follow the instructions, and you know what? I get one or two uses out of them and I have to scratch them. I'm just not a fan of the pump up ones. It takes a lot of energy to stop and pump. And then also, in that time from your pumping until you're done spraying, your flow of product changes so you may start out with a lot and as you get towards the end of that pump or that pressure then of course you're not getting the same amount of product which can result in patchy results and i don't like that either as most of you know i do have a lot of arthritis and i had a shoulder rebuild after 15 years of being a massage therapist so the pumping action is just not fun for me anymore because of those things i really put off this chore way more i procrastinate way too long and of course that makes the situation even worse however this spring while shopping at menards i found this sprayer and it's battery operated so there is no pumping action and I gave it a good try before I came on. I want to say that this is definitely not sponsored. This is just my opinion of this particular sprayer. I'll be sure to post all links below. All right, so the first thing I want to do is just break down a few of the details for you. This is a 1.25 gallon or five liter container. There is a cap at the top for easy access to put in your product or your hose so you don't have to take the top off. However, the top does come off and I'll show you that in a moment. Here is the off and on switch. And this is where the battery goes. This is a rechargeable lithium battery and it comes with the battery charger and the USB connector. Also included in the box is this very soft shoulder pad and strap so that you can carry it. It is fully adjustable. That makes it very nice as well. One of the things that I really liked about this sprayer is that the wand is adjustable here and here. And of course it has several sprays selections and I just felt like the wand was super long and I didn't have to bend over and feel like I was being hunched over as I was spraying. That felt great on my back. So to fill this baby, like I said, you either can use the cap or you can use the inside. To open it, you just simply pull this up and pull it out and then give it a good tug because it does have a good suction in here. Just like that. Here is the tube that pulls up your product and then it is quite large container in there. So let's go ahead and fill it up and let's go around the yard and I can give you my honest review of all the things that I like or I don't like. Okay, I just wanna show you some of the areas that we're dealing with here and just how bad the weeds have just taken over this year. And this is my pathway to my garden shed. I wanted to lay a DIY pathway here because 
the grass is wet in the morning when I like to be out gardening, so it's great to take the patio over to the shed and back to the garden without getting my feet so wet. And it will be able to shovel snow in the wintertime so that I can still get to the shed and get the doors open. I am just really liking this spray. Do you see how wide this angle is for this spray? It sure makes it go fast if you have a large area. Then I was able to turn down the shape of the spray to get finer around these rocks. And as you can see, no bending over, no hunching. And with the continuous spray being strong, when you have things like this poison ivy or other things that you need to get rid of, the goal is to saturate the plant to dripping. And if you're just about ready to run out of product at that time, it's no fun. The same with the driveway. It went really fast because I was able to use that wider spray. Again, no hunching over. The container is really clear so I can see how much product I have left in there really easy. It's not quite so opaque as the other containers are. And it does make it go so much faster when you're not stopping to pump up all the time. And you're just getting that continuous amount of product coming out of the wand onto your surface. So here is my honest review. I think it has a great battery life. I really love that continuous spray and the on and off switch is right here, right with the handle. So as you're spraying and you need to stop spraying, on and off is so easy to use. And of course, you've heard me talk about the wand already. I do love the wand. It's so much pressure off your back and your arm because it extends quite so long, but it's not wobbly. You still have full control of your wand and where you're putting your product. I think that the shape of it distributes the product so it's not as heavy. I like that. And I like that you can really see how much product you have in there. You can in most sprayers, but this one is a little clearer. Farmhouse friends, thank you so much for coming along today and sharing this review with me. I hope this gives you enough information that you can decide if this is the kind of sprayer that would work best for your needs. Maybe go pick out one or two of them for your home and garden. If you were able to learn something new today, please give the video a thumbs up. And as always, please share this on your social media platforms to share this information with your family and friends. And just one more reminder, friends, please make sure to label all your sprayers, not only for you so that you're not mixing herbicides with pesticides, but so that family and friends stay safe. Thanks so much for coming along, guys. Until next time, be blessed, be safe, and I'll see you soon.